Hello everybody, it's Sue Fletcher, the astrologer here. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about the sun in your birth chart. So most people, when they think of the sun, they think of the sun signs that we see in the newspapers. And obviously um, that can't be accurate for everybody. It will have an element of truth because it is done scientifically. And so um, I actually have written for a sun sign column many years ago for a health magazine. So I know that it actually is done properly. But obviously your sun in your birth chart is unique for you and where it is in your chart is unique for you. So we have 12 houses in the chart and each house represents an area of your life. So wherever the sun is, your life will be and revolve around that house and that house's issues for the whole of your life. So for instance, my I'm a Taurian, but my sun is in the ninth house. So the ninth house is the Sagittarius house. So that basically means, I mean, we, I'm being very simplistic here, um, that I am a Taurian, but I have a layer of Sagittarius as well. So um, the layer of Sagittarius is, is, um, is about finding out the truth. Why am I here? What's my life about? And that's actually what took me into astrology because that's um, very um, ninth house. Um, um, the astrology is very ninth house stuff. So philosophy, the higher mind, learning, and I've done all that. I did, I did seven years uh, when I was 48 at, uh, at college. So always on a course, always learning something, and I expect I shall always be doing that kind of thing. If it's not on courses, it's reading books. So it's very, that's all ninth house stuff. So wherever your chart, your sun is in your chart is going to reflect what you um, revolve, you know, your life around. So if I think about um, my daughter, she's got an 11th house sun. So she's been working with groups of people all of her life since she left uh, uni. Um, starting as an aerobic teacher um, and doing line dancing and now she's actually running a boot camp uh, but she's incorporating all the spiritual stuff she's um, trained British wheel of yoga and meditation classes so it's all to do with groups of people so it's really really interesting so it's important really that you find out where your son is um, and obviously you might be able to do that on your own if you know a little bit about astrology or you've got an ast astrological friend um, or you need to come to somebody like me to find out. Now, your sun, whatever, the, wherever the sun is in, in your chart, will also mainly be aspecting other planets. So that also means something to you, unique to you. So the sun could be next to Mars for instance and Mars is about energy and drive so if you've got Mars next to your Sun you're going to be very driven and always on the go so whatever the Sun is touching will have an effect on your personality now um, as, a, as a Taurian I actually have um, three planets in the sign of Aries so I'm very like an Aries as well so you can see that I'm not just a Taurian yes I've got the Taurus traits but I've got the three planets in Aries which makes me very driven it's it's quite a unique to me this chart was my what was happening in the sky the moment I actually was born and that's my unique birth chart and everybody will have one now I think that the Sun is about your heart's desire it's what you really want out of your life and so it's important that our heart's desire is met and very often we maybe don't have that or people around us don't understand that and we might be in the wrong job or with the wrong person or in the wrong town or in the wrong house or all those kind of things you know is, is very much to do with the essence of you and I very much think that the Sun is um, is the soul of the person so anyway I hope that's helped a bit and um, that you've enjoyed that little um, um, guide uh, you know about the Sun 
Um, I will come back and do where the sun is in each in each particular house and tell you about that next time. So for now, bye for now.